Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Shorts Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering Keyshawn Johnson. Was he right about Carson Wentz? Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel right now uh, and get all the updates. Once you turn that subscribe button on and hit that notification button, you get it every single time first, and you can be the first one to comment under that comment section. A lot of people are hitting that first under the videos. I like that when I see that. Um, but definitely, make sure you definitely subscribe so you can get all of our content from predictions to breakdowns to even hot topic debates like we're doing today. Today, we had basically a hot topic from, you know, Keyshawn Johnson himself. He basically made the statement that Carson Wentz is not going to end his career in Philadelphia. You look at the love-hate relationship he has with the Philadelphia Eagles and you're asking yourself, will Carson Wentz make it the next five years, seven years, eight years? with his injury history, with everything that's going on. Just giving you guys a little bit of backstory. A couple of years ago in Los Angeles, when they were playing the Rams in the Coliseum, LA Coliseum, Carson Wentz's career took a turn possibly for the worse. When you look at him suffering that knee injury and it ended his season while he was having an MVP season, it changed the, the forecast basically of his career. When you look at Nick Foles, then was called up. They did end up beating the Rams, I believe that game. And then from there, it became Nick Foles' team in the playoffs. You look at later on, Nick Foles did go on and actually win a Super Bowl with Philadelphia. And he became beloved as Nick Foles, the hero, basically. And you're looking at Carson Wentz and how that had to feel as a quarterback. You basically being on the back burner while your guy is winning an actual Super Bowl in front of you. And you're looking at some of the things that came out about uh, Carson Wentz is not being a good leader. And this is leaking out of the Philadelphia Eagles locker room. You look at several different independent uh, reporters are saying, oh, well, Wentz is not a leader. He doesn't bond well with his teammates. He doesn't, you know, he's not one of the guys. And this is instrumental in some of the things that ownership can see, that management can see. And you look at Wentz's body language during games when they're losing, when they're not doing well. These are things that people are looking at and saying, hmm, is Carson Wentz the best leader for this team? As a Philadelphia Eagles fan, it hurts, but I have to say Keyshawn Johnson is absolutely right. You're, you're a big component of how you treat your teammates. You're a big component of how you ingratiate yourself with the guys. You look at quarterbacks around him, like a Drew Brees. You look at quarterbacks like a Peyton Manning. You look at like a Tom Brady. Even today's generation of quarterbacks, you look at Aaron Rodgers. You look at Russell Wilson. You look at Deshaun Watson. You look at a lot of these guys that are pretty good quarterbacks that are really good friends with their teammates, and they get along with their teammates. That's kind of the bond you have to have, and it's a mixed bag in Philly with everything that's going on, and I think that that's going to hurt Carson Wentz moving forward. He has to play better. He has to play well. The Philadelphia Eagles have to put better weapons around him. But Carson's play on the field is going to be his biggest demise. Holding on to the football late, getting sacks, getting fumbles. I believe he's the most turnover played person uh, as far as players go with the highest amount of turnovers since 2018, 2017. So with all the times he puts the ball on the ground from fumbles and interceptions from forcing plays, it doesn't really bode well for him. And I think Keyshawn had a big point. When you're not really a popular player in your own locker room and you're the starting quarterback, that says a lot in itself. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that Carson Wentz is going to finish his career in Philly? I, it sucks, but I think he won't. Leave those comments in the comment section below. And as always, check us out each and every week with our sports breakdowns of NFL football and with our podcast breakdown reviews. Thank you all so very much for checking us out and we'll see you all next week.